Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Since last time, I did a stream because I wanted to keep track of everything, where I got the Rathalos pieces that I needed, the chest piece, and the helmet. So I have Tenderite, well, Weakness Exploit, and Attack Up Medium. I also got the Switch Axe from... Bracadios, and I cleared a few quests. I, I, I did the capture quest. This one was really funny because the Bulldrome, they don't actually scale. Like it's a six star quest, but it's still probably two or three star, the exact same as two or three star, but the three, so it has less HP, so it dies in under a minute. It's very squishy. I have a bunch of other ones I, I'll need to do, but I'm holding back. Today, things that I want to do... The first one I want to do is Gormagala. After that, I'm not sure. I'm thinking Gormagala and Kirin. But I'll have to figure it out. Gormagala is a good start point because... I fought, well, I haven't fought Gormagala that much in Rise. Like, I fought Chaotic and Shigaru Magala a lot. Gormagala a little less, but enough that at least that version of it I know enough about. I don't know how this one will play, though. Yeah, with all this stuff, I have, what, 146 attack, but it's a power file switch axe. What's better than that? I've been kind of meaning to do this since I just have the components. Is it efficient? Probably not. Is it necessary? Probably not, but I have the scraps and I figure I might as well use it. I think I would want to bring null berries, but I'm not that worried. I don't know how the frenzy is set up in this game. I assume null berries still clear it. Assuming. There's no way they don't apply Frenzy. Yeah, Null Berries. Definitely. It is kind of fun, though. Uh, I have to keep an eye out for the... Hot Air Balloon. I'm assuming it's going to be in 9, 10, 11, but it, it could be anywhere. I really like this switch axe, though. Mostly because once I draw it, it has pro- it- Okay. That's kind of the last place I expected it to be. This is bright and sunny, whereas it's a dark, brooding monster. Once I draw the switch axe, it gets the nice green and blue color. From Brachidios. And a roar. I don't know if it's worth diving to avoid the roar. Ooh, that visually is a little worse. Because it's kind of in the ground. Yeah, there's the green. So far it feels very similar. Yeah, that attack. But the thing about it being familiar, I can't dodge backwards. Since I can't dodge backwards, I can't fight it the same way as I would in Rise. Or, well, technically Sunbreak, I think. Specifically. The okay, this feels like a flash bomb monster. 
if it's gonna fly like that. Ooh, I wonder if the mount attacks here um, help clear Frenzy. I actually think this version is kind of nice. Okay, that was friendly clearing. Totally worth Because if I could have gone backwards there, I could have dodged a little better. Ooh. Spooky. It's a very, um, I kind of like the, it, it feels, ooh, Frenzy doesn't last as long. You, Sunbreak, once I cleared Frenzy, I was totally immune for it, to it for a while. Or is it the case that I applied the affinity boost from energy charge that overwrote the affinity boost from clearing frenzy and so in turn I can then be frenzied again quickly that would be an interesting interaction that would be a super interesting and incredibly detrimental interaction So it cleared. It could also just not last very long. Here's a test. So roar. If I get frenzied again really quickly here, then either it lasts. Oh, actually, I have the blue aura. The blue aura is definitely the cleansed frenzy and not energy charge. Something about the graphics kind of makes this look a little more imposing. Because like Sunbreak, everything looks kind of nice and bright. This actually kind of looks... Oh, that's bad. Like something about the... I'm going to say lesser graphics kind of helps to make this more... It makes the Gormagala look more threatening, I think. Yep, I'm hit. Yep. And the Frenzy does also, or the Affinity definitely lasts longer in Sunbreak, or shorter here. Which is interesting. It clears faster, I think, in this game, though. Like, it's a trade-off. Too slow. Quick sheath would be lovely. I'm hit. Yep. I'm dead. Okay, I barely got away. Yeah, bad. Worth it. Worked out. Lucky. Yeah, same effect. I think they changed the Nullberry as well. That seems like it cleared half of the full, whereas I'm pretty sure Nullberry in Sunbreak clears half of current. I'll have to test it on a lower amount. But it looked like half of full. Sorry, I have, I have to blow my nose, but I can't because I'm fighting a monster. I could pause, actually.
Okay, here's the horn break, hopefully. Yep, there's the horn break. It's unfortunate that it caused it to land quicker. Okay, that's acceptable. You would have to know to clear my, clear my nose. Apologies, I know I could cut that, but... Oh, no, don't do that. I like this version. It's different enough to me compared to Sunbreak that it's different. Oh, hello. How are you? But it it's... It doesn't feel like a totally different monster, but it feels different because of, you know, how the game plays. It's a different... The game just plays differently. So obviously the monster feels different. That was actually pretty good. That was kind of weird. Is it really leaving again? Make up your mind? Gormakala? Make up your mind? But it was fun, uh, farming Rathlos, because it has a couple attacks where it flies straight up like that, but it, it, ooh, that felt lucky. Like, hunting, farming Rathlos kind of helped make it clear the, like, visual, one of the visual cues surrounding... Uh, like departures, like the monsters leaving the zone, like the obvious shadow compared to just flying straight up. The shadow looks weird because it's just a shadow out of nowhere that's a perfect circle, but it helps serve to communicate it's leaving. It's This is not an attack, it's leaving. That was very easy. Again, it's... You can't really compare a... Low rank, still. This is a low rank monster in this game. To a master rank version of a monster. I think this is just a really effective set up. There's probably better switch axes and weapons, but the full Rathlos seems like it's probably the best option for pure damage. I don't think there's another way to get attack up, medium, and weakness exploit. Like, it's just straight up. What, 50% affinity hitting a weak point, and 15 more attack, which is more than 10% more damage. I hate the armor, I hate how it looks. I think there's too much silver in it. Or it's silver, steel, like, that color. Oh, I didn't get- I was getting some, uh, higher tier charms from previous hunts. Sadly, Gormagala only gave me a plus 10 cold resist. One monster. I might actually be able to do like three or four different monsters. I want to do Kieran. I fought Kieran in World. I, I don't know how Kieran plays in this version. I bet it's a little awkward with Ariel. I also want to do... Okay, no. First things first. What does the armor do? It's almost certainly not going to be an upgrade, but... <laughs> Whoa! Three decoration slots. That's pretty good. Probably. 
Yeah, that actually looks decent. If you can get decorations to put in it. <gasps> Friendly resist evasion. It's not very good. What does biology do? Huh. It can negate special blights. I guess blast blight. What spirit then? Okay, so when it's angry you just get more. I guess it's just kind of bad then. Yeah, like, I would never pick, uh, the minus mounting. I would never pick those for anything except for aesthetic. I mean, I think the Bracadillo stuff looks pretty interesting. I like that slight difference. Thinner, wider. I like those. Yeah, none of those are usable. I don't know where the... Gormagala weapon is. I will check. Using Kirin Eco. I'm just gonna go for the Kirin. I don't know what the flag on mountaintop is. I'm probably not going to do it. Unless there's some like obvious connection. Oh, I can't wait to get the like light break axe. From the raging Bracadios eventually. I just have a tab with uh, weapons. Of it like access accessible. Um... So this is going to be in the cold area. A ridge. I always... There's some of these that I just can't picture the maps in my head. It's just a bit of a struggle. Actually, I'm looking at this real quick. The Village Six Star Dark Wings Dark Work, which I think should be the one I just did is 2,900 to 3,200 HP, it seems. The hub 3 star is 3,500 to 4,100, not much more. The hub 6 star is less than 7k, so it's more, than, it's more than double the HP at 6 star. But that would only take like 30 minutes, that's not that bad. I actually expected hub quests to be kind of worse than double HP, more like triple. But that's not what I'm looking for, I'm looking for weapons. Switch Axe, Eyes in Lib. 10 Dragon, 15 Affinity, 120 Base, Power Files, probably pretty good against dragons. Is that the flag? Okay, I guess I'm gonna... Oh, neat. Does that heat me up when I'm in the cold area? Is that basically infinite warmth in cold zones? If so, I kind of don't want to plant the flag, because it's only at that 1,200 zenny. Oh, no it isn't. It's too hot, even for the cold. That's dumb. That's very dumb. You're both overheating and frigid at the same time. That doesn't make sense. And they didn't give me hot drinks. I only have... Did I mess up my... I, I selected the hot... item set. Which should have had hot drinks. Maybe I messed up the save... I have to go plant the flag, so bye Kieran. I think 20 minutes plus a little should be fine. 
here's where I think I need to go. What a weird mechanic. Oh, I bet you could flag plus um, Kezu Whelp, which you can mine right here. Oops. Is this not where I plant the flag? Okay, that's the climb location, apparently. I probably should have paintballed while I was at the Kirin. So that if it moves, I would be able to track it. Why is this where I interact with it? Why would I not interact at the actual point of the flag? That's a dragon. It's less obvious from down here, but that's a dragon's head. Cool. Oh shoot, did I pick? Oh, I picked... No, I labeled it hot because that's you use it in hot areas, not it has hot drinks. I my when I labeled them, I actually was like, I'm probably gonna mix these up, and then within a day, I did mix them up. Acceptable, terrible attack. I hate when they just run. I think I'm not going to enjoy this. With how much it's just prancing about. This genuinely looks like it's going to be incredibly annoying. I think Kieran has like super strong legs. Like, um. Oh, it's motionless! It's so helpful. Except for the fact that that looks like it was missing. It's cool. It moves around a bit much to be fun, though. If I had quick sheath, though, this would be lovely. But... Without quick sheath... It's incredibly annoying to hunt, to even chase. Yeah, it's back legs are like hard. That's cool. Weird. But it's something you have to consider. Like, it's so annoying. Like, the attacks themselves are kind of interesting. But the fact that I'm constantly chasing just to hit it, not bad. Oh, that somehow made it. Wow. The constantly chasing just to hit the monster is always obnoxious. Oh, so it does a big circle around itself, is what that looked like. That missed somehow. Is that a horn break already?
Yeah, the horn looks... Broken? That was quick. Huh. I should probably just do this. When it's downed. It's cool to see Kieran. It's fun to f hunt it. The running is super annoying, though. Yeah, it was a bad heal. Like, it, it's interesting. I don't think it's a great hunt so far. I just wish it ran around a little less. Charging at me more? Sure. Running around past me? It was never really fun. Uh, that looked weird. I think it was fine, just looked weird. Attacks that just don't hit anything are really annoying. Because it's just the monster missing. I should have gotten hit there. I've kind of thought about it more, actually. I think that with the aerial style, it sort of has the same benefit as um, Elden Ring. I'd say a very effective strategy in Elden Ring is jump spam. Like you go strong, even with dex weapons it kind of worked. Like strength weapons and then just only attack with jump attacks because it delivers big hits and it doesn't leave you open as much. Aerial style in this sort of does a similar thing. This actually could end badly. Because I am cold. I'm gonna... Deal with the cold after this. Worth it. Cause like the jumping, at least with this weapon in particular, w is a very easy. You hit them, you get two hits in quickly. It's fairly safe. I still don't understand that one. It just does a circle around it, I guess? But yeah, that's annoying when it just runs off in the middle of nowhere. Presumably to prep for a charge, but not worth it. But it didn't attack me. So weak. It's a good way to introduce the monster, but it's very weak. I'm looking at other weapons. I bet I could have. Ooh, I could have gotten a. Uh, if I'd found Glavidus? No, we know this is electric, it's not an ice monster. 
I'm just thinking of other weapons that I could have used that might have worked as well. Actually, does this game include actual information on monster weaknesses? I didn't get there in time. I didn't check Golden because I haven't fought it yet. Why was Golden Wrath the Rathian on that list? I haven't fought one yet. Yes. New charms. Two shining charms is nice. Okay, are they saying to farm Kirin for these low level charms? Just do this quest for charms early game? That's a lot of charms. Um, not that good. Not that good, but it is a one slot. That looks good. Assuming bleeding... I'm never certain. I'm assuming that bleeding is resistance to bleeding. Yes, it prevents bleeding. That's 9 out of 10 points to, to negate bleeding entirely. So that's probably really good. Specifically for, like, Seregios. Five meters? That Kieran wasn't five meters long. Like, five meters is a lot. So now I, I wanted to check. Do they actually give you... They do not give you weakness values. Cool. It actually does tell you stuff, though. It says that their back is weak normally, that when enraged, their front is weak. Cool. This says nothing, but... Oh, that's Shigaru, because I've never fought a Shigaru in this game. Cool. They don't give any useful information, though. That was easy. Okay. Um, I'll do that in the future. Yeah, these are all repeats. This one's one... I'm saving this. Because I'm definitely going to do it, but... <sighs> yeah, I just did electric. Oh, this is Jurassic Frontier. Yeah. I might be able to do two more hunts if I'm quick. It's all about how quick this one goes, though quickly this one goes. But it's interesting. Shoot, I didn't eat. Since I realized it right away, I figured I might as well quit and load it. That's probably my, probably my second or third abandoned quest. I abandoned one recently because I brought the wrong gear. I'm not sure. I can't remember why. It was 
just yesterday, but I still can't remember the reason. Oh, more health recovery. Cool. Please give me both. I don't deserve both, but... Black Belt's the more important one. If I could get... I'm, I'm just thinking about... Build stuff. Is this here because you can use a bug net when Zenogre is charging up to stop it charging? That seems like the type of thing that this game would have as a mechanic. Because the bug net's not just a random collecting collecting item. It's definitely there because of the Zenogre. I should also bring more paintballs. I don't know why I'm bringing six. I should bring... I don't know, two more? It's either two or four more. Or fourteen more. Cold-blooded. Powers you up in the cold if you drink a cool drink dot dot dot. Does that mean if you drink a cool drink, you then suffer from cold? Or you're stronger and it gives you a buff? Because getting a buff for that would be interesting. I'm just looking at, I'm looking at a skill list. It didn't see me. I'm on the other side of a tree. I got the hit any time. Haha, -ha, it doesn't even roar. What a failure of a monster. Can't even get his roar off before he get... ...mounted. I love this Nogurt song. Theme. It's just instantly recognizable. I should probably go tail. But the subquest is back. And there you go. Subquests, baby. should just switch. I kind of like how... Zenogre looks really different here compared to Rise. I think that's just specifics of color and effects of resolution and whatnot, but... <laughs> oh shoot, I interrupted my own energy charge. That's hilarious. I interrupted my own energy charge because I started it while I was on the ground, just before the mount actually triggered. That is so funny. I should probably focus the horns, but... Okay, you can bug net him here. I love these weird things. I hope Wilds has them. Just because they're so weird to me. Like, bug net on... Zenogre. I'm gonna let him do this. Like, bug net on Zenogre. Mining on Uragun. Ooh, those orbs look kinda bad compared to... The newer stuff, which makes sense. 
Oh, cool. So cold blooded gives plus five attack if you drink a cold drink, apparently. Which makes sense. That seems about what I would expect. Honestly, though, those sorts of skills seem like a lot of fun. That's fine. That's not fine. That was unfortunate. I'm about to be stunned. Okay. I heal. What is he doing? Is he tired? He just boosted himself. He shouldn't be tired. He's not that worrying. Like, he's obviously a threatening monster, but again, this low rank village feels... I've died. It's easy to cart, but that's... Carting due to overaggression and carting due to a monster being super difficult are separate. I hate that. I really hate that. The weapon sheathing, but not actually sheathing. Okay, the master version in Sunbreak does an extra lightning explosion there. But it's good to know that the low rank in this game is I can attack sooner. He should be mounted soon. Not yet, but soon. Ooh, that was a good side hop. Oops. Acceptable. It's a fun monster. I like how it looks in this. With a slightly more... I don't know... Rugged... Design? It's kind of interesting. Which is more, again, it's because of the resolution and all that, but... I like the visuals on the roars in this game more than... In the others. It may be a little less natural in how it looks. I hate this. It looked like I was going to go across it, but I didn't. Arm break? Doesn't look like it. I could have committed to the lethal. It's weird that I don't remember the rise. Um, I should probably have seen what that did. I don't think the rise Zenogre had like the holes in its horns. I'm happy they got rid of that. I don't. Organic hole, like those sorts of visuals are not my favorite. These are this one's not particularly bad, I just... Didn't I just energy charge? I guess I... What? Oh. Huh? I thought I was still below reload. There, thank you. I love the design of this weapon. I really like the sword, the coloration. The axe form is a little less nice, but the sword looks really good. And as always, getting a tail from a tail is my favorite drop. 
it's funny and it's reasonably practical. I'm probably taking too many hits. Like, I'm probably trading hits too often with the monster. Monsters in general. Energy charge is nowhere near ready. Go for it. Oops. I think once I start doing hub quests, I'm going to have to start bringing, um... <laughs> I'm going to have to start bringing proper bombs for wake-ups. But until hub, I'm not going to worry. Hub or, like, advanced quests or whatever. Kind of like when I played Rise, I didn't bother with bombs until, like, late high rank. I really think the armor and weapon change has made it easier. In theory, I lost, like, 10 HP. Switching off as a Tetsukabra set. But I gained a lot of attack, and the weapon does more damage because it's power file. I don't exhaust the monsters, but that's fine. Exhaust doesn't directly lead to faster kills. I think it indirectly does, though. I think overall, if you had the exact same everything, same attack value, same affinity, but one had an additional bit of exhaust, you would probably kill the monsters faster that way. But that's like... A side effect, sort of. Because the exhaust makes them weaker and easier to fight. If it's easier to fight, you can get more hits. More hits means more damage. It seems like a very difficult, I don't know, equation. Like, value between... My water is so bad. Like the value between exhaust and something else is definitely more difficult to try and gauge compared to just comparing affinity values. Like, oh, this is more affinity, therefore it's better. Well, I'm going to pick up this quest. I'm going to pick up, interact with the other quests, or other, um, text box. And then I'll do one more quest. What's another recipe? That's good. So what am I going to do? What do I want to hunt? I don't really want to hunt Seregios because I hate bleed. I think bleed is the most annoying status effect in the game. But... I don't know what other options I have. I can't remember. Hi. Tigrex. Okay. Or Tigrex, I'm not sure. I guess there's Tigrex for me. But I don't feel like doing Seregios right now, so. Last hunt for today. These ones are very much going faster because of the increase in damage. Oh, they both triggered. Wonderful. Now I get to finally actually see what 
the uh, coat does. See if that just purely f don't need cool drinks because of it. I don't know how this is going to go. Tigrex is one of the weirder monsters to me. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty easy. Like, I'm not too worried. So, am I free? No, I'm not. So what is our environmental damage? Is it like the fire at the edge of lava? In the volcano? Maybe it's also the uh, fiery geysers in the volcano area? I'm really hoping that the Tigrex is not in one of like 6, 8, 9, 11. Those are ones that I never actually check because they're dead ends and they're small. Okay. He's so chunky looking. Oh, what a friendly looking little guy. Whoa. That's very different from how he moves in Rise. I don't remember him running ar going around just on his hind legs in Rise at all. Hulo. Ooh, he slid. Yeah, he's sliding a lot instead of moving. It's kind of weird. Oops. That was a weird hit. It was acceptable. It was just weird. I'm not... This is a worrying monster. Just the amount of sliding it does is very worrying. <laughs> That's a good mount. That's a really good mounted uh, escape attempt by the Tigrex. I think I want to focus his arms in case that benefits me. I mean, I already broke one of them, it sounds like. And now I leave and heal. Oh, bad idea. It's good to learn, though, that it can transition into that charge. That's kind of garbage. It should have been expected because it was running into a zone transition, so it would have to stop moving. But the fact that the run forward, continuing in place, so it's not moving, so it has no force, does, continues to do damage, is kind of lame. It makes sense, and I should have expected it. But... It, it makes sense with any expectations of this game. It doesn't make sense logically. Oh, okay, unfortunately I couldn't jump up. I got the charge at least, always the most important. Oh, that was kind of intentional, but a little bit lucky. Like, I was hoping that the bounce off of the small monster would be enough to get me over the spin. I think this version's kind of... I don't know, it feels a little more aggressive sort of than Rises did. Like, it 
transitions into that charge a lot more readily. Whereas Rise, it does like a clear, like, setup. This one, it just, it's turning around and then it suddenly is charging. Whereas the Rise one has a much more regimented initiation of the charge. Whereas, yeah, here it's sort of like, it's turning and then it's charging. I think Rise is much more, um... strict with the moment of charge initiation. This one's fun where it actually goes fully on its back to try to get me off. And you can see it's the ribs which means that it's starving. Soft underbelly. What's a non underbelly? Like, there's no like overbelly. And like, the belly isn't the stomach, the belly is like the outer component of that, like, part of the abdomen. Like, why, why soft underbelly? Is it specifically meant as an indication of the animal or whatever, it, or the sea, the underbelly, so the city is not a real place, it's not an animal. It's like under it as opposed to like a human belly, which is sort of out by default. It feels like maybe the Tigrex is never going to leave zone 4. Which is good for me. Oof. I'm surprised that it wouldn't let me side hop that. It really does just combo you though. Which is kind of a different style. It flies. It's so dumb. Just looks so silly. That's so goofy that it can fly. Yes, it has wings, but like... Uh, it's, it's better than Blungonga. Blungonga jumping eight kilometers into the air to transition to another zone is way worse. But like those wings don't look big enough. Oh yep, uh, the weird transition into the charge. Okay, just shit. I, I want to say that shouldn't have hit like that, but... I'm holding the button, but it stopped holding for some reason. I almost got ruined by my controller not cooperating. Ah, no, it's too far. Okay, barely. I wonder what happens if I press energy charge. Okay, just... Unsurprisingly, it doesn't do anything when I'm in the air. No, it can fly. The stupid flight. Why can it fly? It's so dumb that it can fly. It's so dumb. I'm gonna wait till it sleeps. Make sure it has time to go to sleep. I just heard a roar. It doesn't look like it's going to sleep. I think it should be further to the left if it was going to sleep. 
Maybe it just had to descend and it couldn't descend where it was going to sleep. Okay. I can give it four, three, two, one. It's moving, so it's not sleeping here. Oh, it is. I guess I'm crazy. I'm just going to go for this right on the tail. Tail cut. Exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, the direction of that roar knockback was pretty silly. Um, I'm a little iffy on that hitting me, because I was definitely behind the arm when it started moving. Spin. I can't roll backwards in this game. Oh, I got free heal. Nice. I think in terms of fights, I prefer Rise's to Grex, because it, it does a better job of... It's not so much better telegraphing, it's just... I guess it, it's less likely to do that, where it's, it looks like it's just turning around but it's actually charging, which just doesn't look right to me. Like, if it looks like it's turning, it should be turning and not charging. Whereas this version, constantly, it's obviously, oh, if it turns, it might just be charging, but. Like, it's, it's not hard to tell that it's about to be charging. It just doesn't look right. So it's not, mechanically, it's not bad. Just aesthetically. I don't like it. It also has a habit of doing attacks in an order that's impossible to avoid, but that's just kind of... That, that's... In my mind, that's kind of fair. It's just part of the game. Like, Rise doesn't have that issue because of Wirebug Recovery. But that That's also just part of that game. I don't understand the point of this. Can you do something with that? Yeah, good times. That was a lot of monsters hunted today. They were all fairly weak. I mean, that took... Each... I mean, all of those together took barely longer than some hunts have taken in other contexts. The first Nibble Snarf hunt I did took like 30 plus minutes. No two hunts took 30 minutes in this. It took about 30 minutes, at most, for two hunts. Today. That was good, though. And this is going to be another... Tigrex hunt, which is a shame. Oh, it's her. This might not actually be another Tigrex hunt. Oh, never mind. It is. Maybe. Yep. So that's fine. Why is Yukumo so much higher? Yukumo is over a thousand, the rest are only like 600. I say, having already forgotten the exact numbers that were shown. So, that's it for today. That was very productive. I did Gormagala's an ogre. Take Rex. 
and Kieran. Kieran was a little bit of a letdown. It was kind of annoying, but it was fine. I think by next time, the only things left for this difficulty will hopefully be, or oh, difficulty, the six stars, the right catitude. Who's this sent by? Impressionable. Right catitude and the Thregios will be left. And that will be it. That'll be what I do next time. I'll clear Seregios. I'm assuming once I clear Seregios, an urgent quest will pop. I'll see what it is. It could be anything. It could be the next thing going to high rank. So it could be a low rank monster. I don't know. But I'll do that and then I'll do the Prowler. On the note of the Prowler, though, I need to consider if there's better weapons. Primarily ranged. Okay, easy. The Bracky one. It's blunt, so it can't slash, but 85 attack and a little bit of blast is probably better than 80 attack and 15 affinity. I don't know how, what the application value is on that though. Ooh, I kind of like that. It looks pretty good. Yeah, some of these would be definitely worth crafting. But, oh, close range. Oh, okay, there are. So the Lagiacris, Lagiacris, is probably the better one, actually. 89, 12, under. This is nine more attack. And Thunder Element's useful. That's probably what I should be go should do. Get four scraps. Make the weapon. Not for them. For my prowler. I'll have to remember to equip that on my prowler. Yeah, stop here. Next time I have Seregios and some prowler stuff to do. And then it... I think before next time I will clear most of the other quests. Like, there's not that many. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six quests to clear. So those will be pretty quick. And then there's other stuff I can do that I will grind out before next time. I'm going to try, if I don't forget, I'm going to try to do the requests for the trader. There's some fishing I need to do. I need to get a trunk spine and there are other materials to gather. And then I can turn on all the requests. And then I'll see what some other stuff might be done. But I won't do Seregios or the Prowler. So have, well, I won't have done because this will release after I did that. The timeline will be flipped a little. But the future is the future. The past is the past. But the past is also the future in this context. So... I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.